While our commentary is family friendly, Until Dawn is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Let's Play here on Steven Plays. And as you can tell by the look of things, it's going to be a doozy. Before we get too far, let me say a quick shout out and a huge thank you to all of our Patreon producers. Their names are scrolling along the bottom of the screen now. If you're watching and you'd like to learn more about how you can support Mal and myself and the perks that come along with that, there will be a card on screen now, or you can go in the description and click the link there. So, what you're looking at is something truly special. We are playing a horror game with face cam with... Mallory. Oh, this is a horror game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a peace out. Um, yeah, for, for those who are not aware, uh, I have done, I would say, two horror games on the channel in the past. Six years ago, I did Amnesia 1. Three years ago, I did Amnesia 2, Machine for Pigs. And I don't know what it is with me and 3. It's now three years after that, I am doing another horror game, and we're doing Until Dawn. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about this game. This game is going to be completely blind for both Mal and myself. The reason we're playing it is that it was recommended to us by quite a lot of people. A lot of people have talked about it because we really have enjoyed the Walking Dead series. And this is a horror game that's more on the horror side, but has a lot of those same like choices. Where you, like, you make a choice and it impacts everything heavily to a g much greater degree than the Walking Dead games do. In this game, from what I understand, limited understanding here, but there's a few characters, and each of them can live or die based on the choices you make. So of course we're gonna take turns and live with each other's choices. It's gonna be a good old time. Um, but it is also a horror game, so keep that in mind. There's probably gonna be some scary bits, some booze. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really looking forward to your reactions. <laughs> Just because uh, anyone that has watched the channel in the past may have seen whenever we played PT or when we played the Resident Evil 7 demo. Mal doesn't particularly enjoy the horror genre and I don't really even know how I managed to convince her to, to do this game. You lied to me. I didn't lie to you. You didn't tell me about it. I just You said, were like, we're going to do this game with face cam. And I I'm just, like, I did play it down a little bit. You did. I did play it down a little bit. But to be fair, I hear it is pretty campy, so I think we'll get some, we'll get some chuckles out of it. Anyway, are you ready to get started, Mal? Yeah. Oh, me too. All right. So once again, this is completely blind. Um, I'm going to start it off because I feel like you'd prefer that. Yeah, go ahead. So I'm going to start today's episode, but the next episode, uh, Mal will take over. Um, just also so you know uh, where our settings are, I have subtitles and sidebar text on. Apparently one of the, the settings you can turn on is show global stats, which is where, presumably, it shows you the other choices that like people have chosen. Like, why would you ever want that? I have no idea. Anyway, new story. Tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. That seems... It seems a little far-fetched. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. I'm getting some of the, like, the Resident Evil intro feels where it's, mm -hmm. like, in the veins and stuff. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. And when you get this close to the wings, it doesn't even feel... It looks like you're looking at a really low polygonal mountain. I thought it looked like a fingerprint. Yeah, yeah, like a fingerprint. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. <laughs> now we just need the Crypt Keeper, and then it'll all be set. Of course it takes place in a snowy cabin, because it has to. It's legally required by law. Well, that was fun. Thanks for joining us, everyone. <laughs> that is as far as Mal will make it. And the cool thing is, we actually we don't know anything about it. Oh, okay, so... I was gonna say, what's the horror element? Zombies? It's or? a it's it's a guy oh with my God, a cleaver. I can't believe you 
you actually did this. Don't you guys think this is a little bit oh, cruel? Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Very likable cast. lights maybe maybe the power's Mike? out there's a, like a blizzard outside it's hannah hey hannah hey did you see that dad said it'd just be us this weekend josh Oh, I get to play the game now. Okay, so I'm Beth. I think so. I'm I'm Beth. That's my sweater. That's Beth's sweater, and don't you dare touch it. And your yoga pants. Is this person dead? Oh no. Okay. I was gonna say I didn't even know this. How do I interact with you? That way. If you press R1, this happens. Beth, character traits. She's pretty honest and charitable. Not that funny. Midway brave. Not very romantic at all. She really likes Hannah and Josh, but she really wishes Emily would suck it. Butterfly effect, the twins. Zero of 20 clues found. 1952 was an even longer time ago. Mystery man. What the piss is happening? Totems. Death totem. Oh my god, this game is actually got what any of your business. All right. Hitting R1 was a little too much information for me. I'm gonna go back to pretending that button doesn't exist. L1 doesn't do anything. L2, R2. I seriously can't interact. So I guess I won't. Um, everyone here is already asleep or dead. Oh look, I found a note. Tutorial. Press and hold R2 to pick up the note. Hold R2 and use the right stick to inspect objects. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Wink emoticon, Mike, triple X, which is what I want you to do. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Okay, so that's one thing I gotta do. So we get a little pop-up that indicates when we can interact with things. The fact that I can't interact with the bread box it's upsetting me just a little bit. So they have kitchen lights on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if there it were goes me, my there goes my I have theory. lights on. It's winter. Oh, I stood there for a minute and now Beth decided to look Move the left stick. Oh, if you don't move the stick, it creepily zooms into their face like they're about to get killed. Use the right stick to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Okay. Jeremiah Craig. Whiskey. Is there any left? Don't look like it. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. Meanwhile. Glad you can make it. <laughs> that was Maybe a weird we grin. should start with a little, you know, making out, and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of hand, but... Wow, these people Stupid are break. terrible. Uh, Holy crap. Man, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! <gasps> you 
Use the right stick to choose. Choose what? Wake Josh, find others. Hold on. Do I like Hannah? Oh yeah, yes. I like Hannah. <laughs> Beth likes Hannah! Well, let's... Let's... Guys, go get Hannah. There's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We're just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerk! It was just a social Hannah! experiment! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Press the correct action. Oh, quick time oh, events. Quick time city. <laughs> you gotta hit square or you'll fall. And you might die. And then you'll be dead. Safe or fast. What are you gonna do? What are you fast. Gonna do? Maybe it just means I have to hit the buttons faster, which I can totally do. I've been playing Good games luck. since I was two. Gotta go fast. Gotta Sonic the Hedgehog through these woods right now. Oh lord. Follow noise. Follow footprints. Footprints. Yeah, I'm. I'm agreeing. Footprints. Why would you follow? Why would you follow the noise? It was a crow. Yeah. The footprints indicate where the oh. It's just a big elk or deer or something. We scared him off. Jesus! Fuck! Shit! Anna. She is not Damn dressed it, for that weather. I mean, where she does have a you? coat on, but. Anna, did you become an elk? <gasps> Hannah must be able to run. Yeah. I mean, she took off. Use the touchpad as shown. Oh, yeah. The, I forgot the controller is the touchpad. Gotta unlock my phone. And put that code. Status update. Hannah! Left stick. You can direct the light beam using the right stick. Oh, yeah. Phones are flashlights in modern day games. No longer do you need a dedicated flashlight flashlight. I was going to say a flashlight app. It's built into the OS now. The OS being your phone. Not seeing much around. Pretty sure that elk like disintegrated. Yeah. Hold out one to walk faster, aka the button you'll be holding the entire game. Just taking a stroll. Hello? Hello? Open I do not die. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I have to hit R R two and pick it up. Oh my God! Death totem. Death totem is uh, the possible death of the person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. Although to me, it looked a bit like the Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Anyway, so... You, it kind of looked like she fell on a rock. Right? Uh-huh. Right? That's, that's yeah. what I was thinking. So that means that we should stay away from rocks. Yeah. Good thing we're in a forest surrounded by rocks. I mean, maybe if you don't hit a, a button fast enough, that's what will happen. Maybe. We could, I'm going to continue walking here, holding the walk fast button. What was that? A Hannah! wild cat? But there was a light. Where was the light? And I thought it sounded like electricity. <laughs> See? Oh, fire. The piss is that? What the hell was that? Is there something in the way out there? Hannah. Oh, I found her. What? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. Dumb. Predator? Hannah, you ready to hit a button? Because I think you're going to have to. I'm ready. I've never been so ready for a quick time event in my life. Hannah, Hannah, Hannah seems like one of the only decent people, so if she stays alive, that that's good. 
Because the other characters are already not likable. <laughs> Oh my god. There's a rock down there. <laughs> Hold on! What the... Hold on! My god! <laughs> Some sort of pyromancer. Drop Hannah, let go. Oh, I guess we saw that coming. We did. Are we both dead? I think so. We're 15 minutes into the game. I killed two of the people. You did kill two of the people. You know? Maybe I should have dropped Hannah. Anna. <laughs> but then she would have been dead, maybe. What would you have Before done like, if you begin, didn't hit something? There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cards? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. R2. Also, the motion capture is insane. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah, it is. Okay. Sure. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Makes me happy. I feel uneasy. Um. It I, doesn't make me feel uneasy. But I mean, I grew up in the Midwest with lots of corn and barns. I'm so somewhere in between. Kind of. Doc. Happy. I mean, like, the Scarecrow itself doesn't make me feel uneasy. I'd be more concerned about, like, snakes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty in the middle. But if you're leaning towards it makes me happy, I think I'll go that direction. Oh, well, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Hmm. Sunshine? I was going to say it's peaceful. You're the one playing. Although, yeah, it's peaceful. I'm going with it's peaceful. Oh. Interesting. You lost ten That's points. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? No. No, I wouldn't want to be anywhere by myself. And why is that? Be lonely? Yeah. Oh. Well, there is a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Did you this just notice the art on the wall? Yes. <laughs> Don't you agree? I'm afraid we're out of time for now. Until the next session, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel Safe. 
Isn't it hell? It looks like like some sort of eternal damnation piece. Mm -hmm. Which would be fitting for the game, I suppose. Maybe they always die. They don't always die. I feel stupid because the death totem was like, you're gonna fall on a rock and die. And I was like, God, should I let this person go? Or should I potentially have both of us fall on a rock and die? And I chose, I guess we'll just both fall on a rock and die. There was a split second in my head where it was like, the right way was gonna be to reach up and get the guy, like to hold on, like he was helping me up. And then I had that thought. And then I saw I thought, that, and I was already like subconsciously going that direction. And then I was like, "Oh, that's not what it says." But then it. Then I was like, I looked over and I was like, "I don't want to drop Hannah." Well, you know, hey, if someone died, then you know that's that's on me. It'll be fun for the the uh, the audience to see who we who we kill and who we save. Um, We'll, you know, we'll try to keep people alive, but it's probably not going to be <laughs> the easiest thing in the world. You, you'd laugh now, but wait, because within 15 minutes, I had killed two girls. I see that. So on your episode, you'll probably be killing two, two people too. Maybe. No. I, I just feel bad Today because I like Tana. Anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Well, this is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Oh my Make God. This one I wish I could have dropped him off the, right? the cliff. Yes! <laughs> Man. God, the game might make me want to kill these people. <laughs> I, like, we're not, we're not very far. And I'm like, man, no one is, no one is likable. The two likable people have you been just killed. have been Hannah and Beth, and I I dropped them off a mountain. We're not off to a great start. No. But mate, hey, there's so many more totems. By the end, we will have assembled the most perfect silver monkey that you have ever seen. Man, it feels weird because like there's not that many people. Maybe they have to die. Maybe they have to die. Maybe it's not even like an option. They just they're always gonna die. No. No. You don't know that. Yes, I do. You don't. You don't. I know heavily that. assume. 
but you don't know. Why does a bus go up this far up a mountain? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's a smaller bus. Ten Still. hours until dawn. Memento Mori. We've just been dropped off. This guy really likes killing! He just really likes to kill! Sam, Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. We didn't get all this crap on the people that died! Because they're dead. Hello? Someone there? Guess what? My turn. It's over! Thank you guys so much for watching. That concludes episode one of Until Dawn. Um, I've managed to kill two people. How many people have you killed now? <laughs> None. I haven't played yet. Well, next episode we'll see how, <laughs> see how many of these people you can kill. <laughs> Hopefully by the end we'll have slaughtered the whole town. It'll be, it'll be great. <laughs> also, who is this guy? He's got some sort of heat vision goggles. I assume it's a person, because it looks very humanoid. Flamethrower. Uh, yeah, with like yeah, a it machete. looks like a flamethrower and a machete. Basically, a mashup of all the monsters there are in one. Sorry, that's <laughs> it for today. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Stephen Amell play until dawn.